Welcome to FM Corner. I'm Danny Coons, Director of Relationship Management for WCE. Today on FM Corner, I'm going to speak about strengths in the workplace. This again is a two-parter. It's very important. Today we're going to speak on part one, how do you develop and leverage strength in the workplace. For a company to work properly, you need different kinds of people with all different kinds of skill sets. You know, there are accounting people, there are marketing people, there are sales people, there are purchasing people, there are facility people, whatever those are, HR. There's all kinds of different people with different kinds of skill sets. And the company has to have all those people working together to be able to be successful. So you want to find the best way to use your skill set so it maximizes the results that you're able to give for the company and you also gain new knowledges. The more you do, the more that's put on your plate, I've spoke about this before, the more opportunities that you're gonna get as long as you deliver. So you don't look at it as, I got another project, I got another opportunity. And I may not be the know the uh, everything there is to know about this particular opportunity, but I'm gonna find and learn through the whole project, and that will make me better the next time that I'm gonna learn through the process. You want to leverage your skills. The more skills you have, the more you can leverage. I can do lots of things. Give me opportunities to do that so I can show them to you. It makes you even more valuable to your company and you get to do new things. You're not doing the same thing over and over and over. All the time you're getting new opportunities on something that maybe you're not, you're not a veteran of, but you can learn how to do that. Learning and knowing your skills are the most important. You gotta learn, what is my skill set? What am I good at? What things do I do really well? And what things do I not do well that I want to do better? What are the things that might be holding me back? You can't utilize the things that you have if you don't understand what you possess, what, what you can do. Helps you set goals, helps you achieve more and become more successful in your company. Helps you find the best role. Again, I spoke about this before. Where are you the best fit? At what role am I given the best and the maximum value for my company? That's what you want. Not a role that, well, I'm really unhappy with it, but it pays more. That's not everything. Pays not the whole ball of wax. What do you enjoy? What do you like to do? That's it. Find that best fit. It increases your production increases the output that the company's able to produce by the more that you can do. You're using your skill sets, and at the same time you're learning new skill sets and getting better at them. Maybe one was a weakness, and you're getting better at it by taking on an additional project. That helps you, again, maximize and leverage the skill sets that you're good at and what you're offering to continue to learn. It can be a start or a continuation on your path to be a leader by the more you know and the more that you learn. If your long-term path is to be a leader, more projects and the more things you take on and the more things you try to learn, in addition to the skill set that you already have at your current level, is gonna give you a better chance at an opportunity down the road. And it gives you a chance to grow. The more you do and the well that you job that you turn in, the more opportunities that are going to be presented to you. There are some soft skills that will help you as a strength for leverage in the workplace. Some of these are time management. You're good at managing your time. You're good at figuring out how to get projects done on time. You can take a rush job and figure out how to get it done. You're good at time management. You're good at communication. You speak to people, you talk to people, you communicate well, they understand what your vision is and what you're driving, what you're trying to get done. You're good at problem solving, critical thinking. You have the ability to figure stuff out. People always want that inside their company. Where are the problem solver people that I can go to and say, here's my problem, how do I fix it? And you can give them input on that. Teamwork, you work with others. You're a part of a team and you work together well using all your other soft skills and the ability to deliver a project. Adaptability. 
core word for a facility manager. You have to be adaptable. You have to be able to move and change every day, multiple times per day to get the work done. Organization. You set up, you have standards, everybody understands them, everybody knows what we're doing, everybody knows what the role is in getting the job done. You have no stones left unturned. You've checked everything to make sure you're organized in your work. Creativity, the ability to think outside the box, not, well, this is how we always did it. What if we did this? Would that work? Those are those soft skills that you could put in along with your ability to do the other things that are part of your skill set that will help you grow your skill. You also could do some hard skills. Helps too, public speaking. If you've never done it, probably one of the most scariest things you ever do in your life, but you sure can learn to do it. All it takes is practice and dedication that you wanted to, that you want to do that. Practice your speaking in front of groups and people so that when you're called on to give presentations, whatever that may be, it's comfortable all day. Sales, learn how to sell. If you had to, could you sell? Could you talk to a customer? Could you convince them or could you put information in front of them that make them want to do business with your company? It's another skill set to learn. What are customers looking for? Operating software. Everybody wants the people who can work on software and know how the in and outs of it works because they come and ask that person questions all the time. You could be one of those people. You could take more classes and learn more as a hard skill to help. Maybe languages. Maybe your company's huge and does work in other companies. The more languages you can speak and be fluid in, then maybe the more opportunities that you're going to get as you work on your path to be a manager. Adding to your skill set in different ways is going to allow you to have different and additional strengths in addition to what already is your core skill sets that you already have. It's going to grow your career. It's going to give you more opportunities to do more things. Next week, for part two, we're going to speak about leveraging your strengths that are now already defined. Please join us next week for part two. Thanks, as always, for listening to FM Corner. I'll see you next week.